and challenge. If you look at our base in the Democratic Party, in the DFL Party, it's becoming more and more concentrated in the urban core, and the suburbs and exurbs with their growing populations are becoming more and more Republican. So for us as a party, one of our challenges if we want to grow and expand our base is to find ways to communicate with people in the suburbs, exurbs, and then, then in greater Minnesota because we can't win elections anymore with just our base. And we saw that this last uh, election cycle. We relied too much on our base and our base stayed home. So the first piece is that message, finding a message that can appeal to suburban and exurban voters and also voters in greater Minnesota. And the second big piece for me is raising the resources to make sure we're competitive. But I'm going to focus like a laser beam on making sure that we give Governor Dayton uh, a majority that he can work with in two years to start pushing a progressive agenda. And uh, that's going to be my big focus, getting the money in the door and getting the message out to make sure that we're successful. Have you already well, <laughs> <laughs> message. They do a good job on the, getting their message out. They do a good job on um, coming up with a clear, concise message that's simple, easy to understand, and can be sold in all parts of the state. Their chairman gets out and, and uh, gets the message out, which we haven't had in some time. And I'm going to be very active and aggressive in making sure that we're getting out there and defining the Republicans before they define us. Um, I think there's a lot of things the Democratic Party does a lot better than, than Republicans. That's a much longer list. But uh, I think it's much, uh, it, it would be remiss on us as a party if we didn't learn from uh, the strengths of the other side. And there are many strengths that the Republicans have. And, He did. It was. I, I. I think the biggest piece of advice he gave, and it's really the legacy that he left in his party, was uh, take the time to listen to people in the party. And I think that was good advice. Uh, he created a culture where previous party chairs uh, had um, sort of kept the activists at arm's length. He created a, a culture where the activists in the party were really embraced, and their ideas were solicited, and feedback was was uh, wanted in the party, and I want to continue in that vein. So taking the time to listen to people on the ground is important. It's really easy when you get into this sort of ivory tower mentality to think that you have all the answers, and uh, I think one of Brian's great legacies he leaves is the fact that he took the time to listen to people, and I hope to fill those shoes. Chairman, sir.